So today I want to show you the new export to MIDI feature that we've got. So if you just look over here, I've got a little tiny sequence that I've made already. I'll play it for you. It goes. I'll play, press play. Mm -hmm. So all we need to do now is just do a switch to the right, and that or before, if you did that, it would just take a snapshot and put it in your photos. But now we've got the menu here to export it to MIDI. So I'm just going to press this. Bosh. Now on my iPad, because I haven't set a MIDI account, uh, an email account up on it, um, it, it brings up this little menu, which is fine. It's just telling me that it can't email, but it's also saved a copy of it, like it says there. So I can get to the MIDI file easily enough just by pressing OK. Yeah, it tells me blah, blah, blah. And if I go over to my laptop, and if I go to iTunes, and see over here, I've um, if I click on my iPad, and now click on Apps, and down here, look, normally you have to scroll down, so I scroll down, and click on the Songwriter, on the file share, and there, right there, look, that file there, every time, every time you export to MIDI, as well as being able to email, it also saves it in this file here, so all we need to do is get that, and I don't know, drag it onto the desktop or something like that, so let's drag that over to my desktop, and replace it. There we go. Excellent. And now, if I go to Logic, uh, so I click the button. There. You see over here, I've already got a beat already loaded up. So, yeah. So what I want to do now, see, I've already I've already made a MIDI track. So I go there, and I go to Import. There's that file I just dropped on my desktop just there. Look. Genius MIDI. Double click and excellent. And now we see here, look, I've got the uh, the MIDI file. So what it's done, it gives you the melody on the top line and puts it an octave higher. So I'm not going to keep that, I'm going to get rid of those notes. And here, these are, it brings them out. Uh, each one is a bar long. So let's let's have a little look over here. In fact, let's let's condense these down. Actually, I'm going to take take that one there and move it there. We'll do the same. Great. And take that. Yeah, each one because each one of those notes was chords was actually a, two bars long, but I want them to be a bar long. So let's do that. Make that like that. And I've set it up, I've got it that track running on the sampler, so here we go. <laughs> you see what we've got here? These are the chords, look. Simple as that. And there you have it. The beautiful thing about that is once it's in MIDI, you can do what you like with it. You see what I've done? I'm running just a patch in EXS, and it's one of the uh, in the factory in the synthesizers, motion sequences. That one. I like that one because it's got a little uh, bit of movement, LFO type movement to it. There you are, MIDI export. It's as easy as just going swish MIDI. And of course, if you do this on an iPad or an iPhone which has got email set up, then this menu won't happen. It'll actually try and give you the option of exporting it as, a, as an email so you can make a MIDI file and just send it off to whoever you like. And there you go. Export to MIDI is working. <laughs>